The base coat color is on the back now. That's got to dry a few days and I'll do the front. And then it all gets one more coat. You can see I used the black and the dark bronze to kind of get a burst look. So it's, it's pretty good. I think I'm going to bring it down a little bit farther this way though. You know, the, the metal plate goes over the spot there. So I might, I might do it like that again, but you get the idea. I went ahead and used my yellow 100 grit sanding paper or sanding cloth. Here, I'll just show you a picture of it. I love this stuff. I've been using it for 40 years. My dad bought a huge roll of it and it's awesome. Okay, so I went over it lightly with that because I'm going to use a very small brush this time and lay out the design. Uh, you saw the design in the, in the original picture for the thumbnail. So I'm going to lay that out with the silver and then I'm going to give the rest of it the coat of black and then we'll give it the final coat. You can see where I sanded it better from this angle without the glare of the light. All the lighter gray spots are the spots that got hit with the sandpaper. So I didn't smooth it out completely, but I needed to smooth it out a little bit because of the way I'm going to do this next part. And this time I'm going to use a small round brush. When I do the final one, the final coat, I'll probably use an even smaller one, but this is going to get me to where I need to be today. You can see I'm just kind of sketching it out with the little brush making sure I got full coverage but I'm putting it on really thin and I'm also leaving I'm kind of feathering the edges because I don't want a big sharp edge where the paint goes to show up through my design later I've got the basic design on there I had to stop in the middle and change brushes because the one I was using started coming apart so I'm going to let this dry for a few hours because it's drying quick today. And then I'm going to do the final coat of the black part of it with the black and the bronze. And then I'm going to have to leave that sit for probably at least a couple weeks because I'm going to have to put tape on it in order to do the final part of the silver. And then that's going to have to sit for a while so I can flip it over and do the back and the sides. So this one's going to take a little while and uh, I'll update you on some of my other videos of how this is going. I usually wait to do the front till after I've got the back and sides done, but I'm anxious to see what this is going to look like. So here's the front half finished. I've got the, the dark area shaded. Now I've got to let that dry a week or two and then I can put tape on it and use the tape as a guide so I can get the rest of it nice and straight. The back and sides are done. I changed the fade a little bit. It's not as dramatic and uh, I smoothed it out. So it looks pretty good. All right, that's got to dry for about a week and then we'll do the front. I've got some blue fine line tape on here this time to help me to use as a guide to help me make sure I get my lines pretty much straight. I usually use this with an airbrush, but the texture on this paint won't let me just paint on it and leave a nice fine edge. So I'm just going to use it as a guide and then peel it off as I go. And then this time I'm going to use a very fine brush. So it's going to take a while to do this, so I'm probably going to have a little jar of reducer, or uh, I guess it would be xylene for this stuff to uh, clean my brush and thin it down a little bit if I need to, because the paint's going to start drying out of the can as I work. Alright, it's finished. I might do a tiny little bit of touch-up on the black to border the... Uh, the silver part but it's finished let's take a close-up of it so you can see what it looks like 
Just go around real quick like this. So you see the shading. All right, we're gonna let it dry for a month and a half and then put it together.